Christmas time is a wonderful time. Ding, ling, ding, dong, ding. Von Bolt, Christmas is still four weeks away. Correction. Three weeks, five days, two hours, and 16 minutes. Oh! <gasps> that reminds me, I still have to wear my stockings. Four weeks till Christmas. I better start shopping for presents. Hey, Angie. I want a portable kaflugulator. I want a new pair of sneakers. I want a Mega Blast Mad Asthma Inhaler. Hmm, what about Mr. Edison? What do you get a guy who has 2,332 patents to his name? I know what I'm getting, Sheila. Mwah! I'm testing our 3D fax machine so I can transport myself straight to Paris. Where Sheila can glue you back together. Okay, Smarty Pants, what are you doing for Christmas? Yeah, what's your top secret project, JD? A Santa Claus trap. He's been trying to catch Santa ever since he was a kid. And I would have succeeded if it wasn't for you. None of those traps ever worked. This one will. I decorated this bad boy with security cameras, motion sensors, and laser trip wires. I like this snow globe ornament. Don't touch! Santa Claus detained! Santa Claus detained! Santa is early. Where is he? Where is he? Oh, Tannenbaum. That was unpleasant. Welcome to my world. JD, maybe, just maybe, the reason you never caught Santa is because there is no Santa? Ah, no! <laughs> I just think we should be working on a display for the annual Edison Christmas Light Sparkle Fest. Did somebody say Sparkle Fest? Yeah, the whole community comes together to celebrate the fact that you invented Christmas lights. Yes, I remember the day fondly. It was Christmas of 1880 when I had that idea. Two years later, the president of my company became the first person to ever decorate a Christmas tree with my electric lights instead of candles. Love Christmas. Yeah, me too. And for me, I just love the idea of winning first prize at the Sparkle Fest. Unless the antimatters beat us to it again. Oh, yeah. Them. <laughs> But this year, we will destroy them! That's the Christmas spirit! Hey, Peter! If we want to win first prize at the Sparkle Fest, we need more than just Christmas lights. We could make a Kaflooey snowman! Or a Santa Claus crystal sculpture. Even better! Santa's sleigh pulled by the ants from Aunt Erbia! Huh? It appears the lab security has been breached by an intruder. No! It's my Santa trap! Finally got him! Santa Claus detained! Santa Claus detained! I... I got him! Santa, I'm so sorry. Please don't put me on the naughty list. I just really wanted to... Meet you? Hello, Bob. Thomas! <laughs> How are you doing, buddy? Bob? Well, let's say he's an old friend of mine. Very old. 
what brings you to the secret lab? Mr. Edison, the real question is, how did he get into the lab? Well, it is Christmas time. Maybe he came down the chimney. We, we don't, don't have, have a chimney. chimney. Ugh, he's not Santa. But, but, J.D. is machine. He's, he's not, not Santa. Santa. I'm working on a very special project, but I've run into a bit of a uh, glitch. So I thought of you, Thomas. Say no more. I'm sure my young geniuses would be happy to assist you. Excellent. You kids up for a little field trip to my lab? But what about Sparkle Fest? He said it's just a glitch. Yeah, I'm sure we'll be back in no time. Mr. Edison's right. We'd be happy to help out with your project. Great! Let's go! Wow! I did not know about that. Imagine how surprised Bob and I were when we first realized that our labs were connected by a wormhole. That's a theoretical passage through space-time. That could create shortcuts for very long journeys. <laughs> Thomas, they really are geniuses. These hatches keep the wormhole stable. That way, we can always drop in for a visit. Very handy when you run out of eggs. <laughs> or need a new light bulb. Let's go. Time is of the essence. <laughs> Let's go! No way am I going through that! I suffer from vermophobia, okay? The sight of worms makes you anxious? Anxious, wheezy, sweaty. Grossness! Kent, there are no worms in a wormhole. How do you know for sure? It might be full of long, slimy, wiggly parasites. You should pay a quick visit to another friend of mine in Princeton, New Jersey, 1955. Sure, as long as he's not some kind of worm expert. Albert Einstein! What do you think he's thinking? Maybe he's pondering a theory that explains all physical aspects of the universe. The theory of, well, everything. I got it! Finally! I've been looking for this for years. Sorry, I did not see you walk in. Uh, Mr. Einstein, we were hoping you could talk to our friend Kent here about... Oh, what curious shoe wear. Are those comfortable without socks? I hate socks. Eliophobia. I totally get that. <laughs> no, no. I am not afraid of wool. As a boy, I discovered my big toe always ended up making a hole in my sock. So I stopped wearing them. What is your shoe size? I'll let you try them on, if you explain to us what a wormhole is. Imagine this is the universe and we are astronauts. Wow! Watch out for that asteroid! To get to you, I can travel all the way across the universe, or I can create a shortcut. A shortcut through the universe? How do you do that? By bending space-time. Based on my general theory of relativity... That's your theory that space and time are relative, instead of being absolute concepts. Yeah, so it is possible to have a tunnel connect two points in the universe just like a wormhole. Hello! See, Kent? No worms! Ah, <sighs> my mistake. <laughs> As I always say, a person who never made a mistake never tried something new. We better go. Mr. Edison's friend still needs our help. Goodbye! Bye-bye! Lucky, I found my old Santa hat. Then let's get going! Give my regards to Bob. Von Bold, uh, your hat? 
Oh, I am keeping it on. Where I go, I bring the joy of Christmas with me. Welcome to my secret lab. Let me tell you why you're here. Me and my staff have been working tirelessly on a new top secret aircraft. Oh? After months of hard work, we finished building it. Oh. oh. But on a test ride, we had a glitch, and well, this is what's left of it. Oh. Oh. Must have been one big glitch. So you need us to build you a new aircraft from scratch? Exactly. <laughs> there goes Sparkle Fest. Please, 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 tell me if we will be home for Christmas. That all depends on you and your friends. For more fun videos, subscribe to Cartoon Channel.